Time Conditions object allows you to create flexible time schedules for call routing. You can create multiple time groups within one object. In this video, we will create two time condition objects, one for business hours and another for public holidays. Let's first take Time Conditions object, connect an inbound phone number to it and name it Public Holidays. Now we need to create a time group that will define a public holiday. For example, Christmas Day. Click Add Time Condition Group and Add Month. The month will be December to December and the day will be the 25th. You will notice the logical and parameter, which means that both conditions must match. Say we also want to add the 1st of January. For this, we need to define a new time group. Now you can see the OR condition shown between time groups. This time, we will add month being January and day being the 1st. You can define more public holidays if required. Click Save. If it's a public holiday today and our rules match, we want calls to be sent to a voicemail. Drag another time conditions object into the working area. We will use this object to define business hours. We'll give it a name and create time group where we specify our business hours. We normally work Monday to Friday, so let's use the days of the week option and select Monday to Friday. Now we need to add hours. Let's say from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Click Save and connect a second exit point of the previous time conditions object to this newly created condition. This way, if it is not a public holiday today, the system will check what time of day it is and then decide what to do with the call. If the call is within business hours, we will connect it to the user object. Otherwise, send it to the outside business hours voicemail. If we don't connect the second exit point to anything, the call will simply terminate when this exit is reached. 